Hello and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. Uh, special thanks to all, the, all of you uh, booking readings, ordering my decks, and sending uh, donations to support the channel. I really appreciate that. This is going to be a general reading for the collective of Twin Flames. This is the Daily Telepathy. So, um, again, this is general, so it's not going to resonate with every uh, Twin Flame uh, connection out there. So keep that in mind. And if you find yourself with more questions and answers, it's probably not your reading. Don't try to make it fit. Um, I do offer personal readings, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below in the description, as well as the decks I'm using, and most of the items you see here, including the jellyfish lamp. The jellyfish are not real. Um, my Instagram information, and um, if you want to support the channel. Also, this deck, uh, Intuitive Envisions 1111, I created. Twin Flame Messages. Uh, this is available uh, for pre-order below in the description if you're interested in that. All right, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get the energy surrounding your twin um, today and any messages or information that you might need to or you would like to um, know about, okay, or they would like to tell you. All right, anyone new to this journey, when I refer to Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, I'm referring to energies and not a specific gender. So you can be a Divine Masculine and be a female, okay, or vice versa. Just take it how it resonates, and, and these energies can be flipped, okay? So when I say you, it, could, it really could be the other person or vice versa. All right, so this is the Queen of the um, Moon Oracle. And we have power, full moon, number 16, which is seven, uh, which is a spiritual number. So I'm going to go ahead and get that information um, from the book and see if I pick up any additional messages. So we have step into your true power, shine brightly. Do not hide who and what you are. The time is right to attract big things for yourself. Ancestral energy is important. Open your mind uh, to larger possibilities. Be magic. Uh, big magic can be rocked. So it's basically go outside on a clear night and look up. Hopefully you will see the stars twinkling. If you are really lucky, you might see them swirling. I'm not going to read all that part. Okay. So basically what it's saying is um, stepping into your power that this is the time to be true to yourself, like the same energy of being authentic, okay? Being who you are, step into your power. Um, and with this full moon uh, back here, um, I think tomorrow's a new moon, um, uh, by the way. Um, this is about emotions, like be who you are, step into your power and just claim who you are. So that's the energy that your twin is currently in. So let's see. Um, something about needing to be uh, powerful or strong about something. So these are the steampunk tarot. This is going to be the main subject that your uh, twin is focused on. We have the king of cups. So this is king of cups is someone that is in love, loving, um, a master of emotions, you know, so he like, you know, may hide his emotions, but he's very loving, very caring. He offers emotional fulfillment. So, um, your twin could be um, focused on offering their cup um, uh, to you or, you know, thinking about it. Or they could be focusing on you know, mastering their emotions. So we'll see once I put this uh, down. Uh, I mean, the other cards down. So King of Cups is water energy, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But it doesn't necessarily mean so. Because anybody can take on any of the uh, elements at any time. Okay. A personality so these are my twin flame messages i'm gonna get five messages from here separation situation okay so the separation and um, legal matters and divorce has been coming up a lot lately so there is a lot of twins that's going through some uh, separation or divorce now this could actually be about being in separation from your twin so we'll see why this is here but this there's some, something to do with a separation here, whether it's with someone they're with or it's being separated from uh, their twin.
you resonate with my soul. So there's that loving, that caring feeling um, that someone is wanting to step into their power and possibly, um, you know, come forward and offer this cup. OK, and be be authentic, be their their true self and uh, figure out how to fix the separation uh, situation, because this, like I said, very well could be about being separated from your twin. Constant reminders of you. So your twin is getting constant reminders of you. Uh, maybe you there's reminders that's making them wanting to step in their power, wanting to be true, wanting to be loving, maybe wanting to offer this cup. They could be getting reminders through dreams, um, you know, anything, TV, songs, anything of that nature where they're getting constant reminders of you. I keep hearing or seeing your name. Okay, so that would definitely be a constant reminder. So there's like a lot of love feeling. I'm, I'm feeling that your, your twin is feeling the separation between the two of you. Okay, and they're wanting to um, step into their power because they're constantly getting reminders of you. Reminders of that love and, you know, probably possibly one in their own uh, cup field. Um, as well, wanting that emotional fulfillment, wanting to express that love. When I saw you, it was no coincidence. So when I created this, this was like if you come in contact with your um, twin and you wonder if it's a coincidence or not, and uh, it's not. So I've also noticed since I've been using these cards, um, because the cards can change, um, on you, what I've noticed, they can start letting you know other scenarios. So even when I created this, there is a new way to, because of the words, your, your twin is realizing that it's not a coincidence. So intuitively I've been, um, recognizing when uh, my cards they're telling me something different too with, with the message. Sometimes it's not the whole message on the card. It's just the word, a couple of words on here. So what I'm getting um, from your twin is that they know that it's not a coincidence that they keep seeing and hearing your name and getting constant reminders um, because they know that you resonate with their soul and they're, they're wanting to fix this separation uh, situation between the two of you. They're missing that love. Um, they're missing that emotional fulfillment. Um, they're wanting to come forward to offer this cup. That's what I'm getting strongly from here. All right. So I don't know if I said, but these are the steampunk tarot. So let's see. Tell me more about the separation situation. What does this have to do with? The hanged man. So this is about being in suspense, being on hold. Okay, hangman is about looking at things in a new perspective. So your person is feeling this. They're feeling this suspense. They're feeling this hold, this pause uh, between the uh, two of you. For some of you, a, a separation um, that they could be going through on a legal matter uh, could be on hold, could be on pause, could be delayed because of, you know, the... A core system um, right now with the uh, quarantine. Tell me more about this. You resonate with my soul. Four of Wands. Don't get any clearer than that. That's the um, 1111 card, Twin Flame Energy. Four of Wands. This is about foundation. This is about union. So your person knows that they feel this, they know you're the one. Because you resonate with their soul. Constant reminders of you. Tell me more about this. What kind of reminders? What is this about? Knight of Pentacles. So, Knight of Pentacles is a slow uh, energy. But it's something that is um, offers progress. I mean, <laughs> it's a slow progress, but it offers something of value. Okay, so this is Earth energy. This is uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, and you also have Wands energy, Fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So um, 
Like I said, it can be any of the signs here. They're all here, so this could have to do, um, only thing that hasn't come through is air yet, but it still can be a, an air sign. But they could be, um, this could be work related, okay? Because um, the uh, Pentacles is 3D energy. Um, they could be getting reminders um, in the 3D realm. Um, this is also movement, but it is slow movement. So there could be uh, reminders of you because of things that are going, going slow and they're in a hold and a pause. And this could be causing them, you know, to um, focus on the time, focusing on how slow things are. I keep hearing or seeing your name. Tell me more about this. Queen of Cups. Okay, so now you have a couple right here. So, this is about the two of you. Queen of Cups um, is someone that is motherly, caring, um, emotional, intuitive, offers emotional fulfillment, offers love. And um, your, your twin is getting a lot of um, reminders of you. And they might be hearing your name. This could be, like I said, this could be water signs or just um, uh, in love feelings because that's what this is about, love and emotions. So I keep hearing or seeing your name. So whatever um, reminder they're getting, they're seeing something about you. Maybe they're seeing how she has her cup. Like she wants that cup filled <laughs> is what I'm getting. She's like, she has that cup. Like either it's almost like she's toasting, but she's got it. She's holding it up. She offers emotional fulfillment as well. So she's also offering this. Okay. So yeah, there's a couple there. So and you have the four of wands too. I feel, you know, things are on hold. Things are definitely on hold in this connection. But when I saw you, it was no coincidence. Ten of Pentacles. And you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands. This is um, a solid relationship on the 3D realm. Okay. This is Earth energy. This could be also, like I said, uh, work related. Somebody that you work with. Um, this also um, has to do with, you know, family matters. It also can have to do with uh, sales and foundations. We do have four of wands. We have the ten of pinnacles here. And um, in this deck, you see that uh, this uh, feminine is holding up a card. Okay. This is like a fortune. So this is someone that could be um, that reads cards, you know, a tarot reader or someone that's very intuitive, that can see, that can picture, that's can visualize what's going to take place in the future but it's not a coincidence that you guys came together so we have the four of wands the ten of pinnacles and we have the knight of pinnacles coming traveling uh slowly towards this um queen of cups possibly to give this um offer but things are on hold. There's a pause. And your person could also be awakening to this. But I feel like that things are on a pause. Okay. But they're they're thinking about this. Like stepping into their power and being who they want. Which is to offer this cup to the Queen of Cups. And offer this solid relationship. Ten of Pentacles. With this union. Okay. But things can be on hold because of, a, like I said, whatever separation that they... Uh, is related to okay related to the quarantine or another uh, relationship but we start off with that 16 which is seven which is very spiritual so this is a spiritual connection so i'm going to go ahead and get the bottom cards here and we have will 13 which is again 13 is about transformation and that's the death card energy scorpio energy but it's also four which has to do with foundations and it's um, waxing crescent for will. So this is um, having to do with like, free will. And I'm looking at how it says willpower. <laughs> so this is um, 
someone that's thinking about doing what they want, stepping into their will. I'm not going to read from the 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 book um, on this one. I'm just going to go from what I'm feeling right now. But that's what it is. Someone is wanting to um, to use their their free will, step into their um, power. And there we have the moon. Okay, this is Pisces uh, energy. And this is about things that are hidden. Um, things about that needing to come to the surface. This is something that could be rising um, to the surface. This is also about illusions and fears. So someone could be wanting to step into their power to get away from this energy of uh, being uh, afraid and fearful and go more towards their emotions, um, their feelings, because this is also about emotions as well and can be about in intuition. Stress the F out. <laughs> um, so that's exactly what it is. This is somebody that is hiding this. They're hiding that they are stress the F out. Okay, over this connection, over not stepping into their power, over not exercising their, their free will. And they might be realizing that this is an illusion as well. And this is why this has kept this connection on hold. But they're wanting to step out of this. That's what I'm getting. This is what's being hidden is this this will and stress. Okay, you guys, so that's what I have for you. Um, I hope if that resonated with you, please like, comment, or share. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Again, I do offer personal readings. All that information is below, as well as all the decks I use. And if you want to order my deck, that information is below, as well as most of the items you see. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.